Mom is going to fucking kill me. Hey guys, Nico. Stop. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can. Hey there. Not sure how I'm gonna do this, but we'll give it a go. Straight legs. You're disturbing the video. Can I say hi? Go on, say hi then. Hi. Well, fine, you can fucking look it on the phone. If you need to do it on the laptop chat. I'll do it on the phone. Oh, oh, you're the fucker. Hurry up, man, I want to do this video. Yeah, man, I got shit to do. Yeah, we all got shit to do, man. Here's you can find the central market where you can find a great variety of fresh products in the area. Products in the area. Um, uh, yeah, man, that I think that first one could be the one, you know. Yeah, well, let's just go with the first one. All right, Monk? Wait, what are the reviews saying? I just want to see how far they're saying. No, what? Hey. Here. Hey. What? I don't know. Oh my god, I'll never get this fucking video done. What? 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 Uh, 140 at, no, the, at, the, at the corner of go get a map and fuck off. Can we go with that one though? Yes. Yeah, sure. Though. Yes. You want to look look through them now for a few more minutes and get back to me, no? No. Are you sure though? <laughs> yes. So sure, so sure. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm um, I'm meeting Blessing on Saturday. Do you do you pull the lesson with me? Uh, because I'm going to Dublin. I have BB Pro Jam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's the story there now. All right. All right, you've interrupted me long enough now. <clears throat> That sums up my video, people. Come back next week. <laughs> yeah, alright, whatever. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck you, you stupid <laughs> Oh! 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 That is just ignorant. That is ignorant. That's rude. But I hate when people do that. Don't hang up the phone without saying goodbye. Anyways. Back to the video. Alright, so I'm doing this grocery haul video in my sit room as there's too many people out in the kitchen. You can hear people talking now. Fuck. Anyways, doing this video here in the sit room, so whatever, it won't make too much of a difference. Uh, all these foods I'm going to show you are foods that I eat on a fat loss phase. It's what the foods that I bought yesterday. I should have done this video yesterday, but it was early in the morning, I did my shop, didn't have my camera, I would have brought it into the store as I think that would, <laughs> that would have been funny, it would have caused a few people to look and stare and whatnot. but yeah we're doing it at home now. So I'm just going to take you through all the foods, pretty much break it up into my meats, fats, carbs and then like other stuff like zero calorie stuff and whatever else. So what I'm having right now, I'm uh, chucking into this right now. It's really good, good source of protein, uh, low carb, low fat, it's decent. 
after I'm going to have these. They're uh, seven things, they're 133 cows, and there's, there's quite a lot in them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're small. Mmm, good. After that, then, for uh, later, I'm going to have the leftover of this apple tart. As you can see, I've already I started eating that yesterday. Really good. Uh, not too much calories in that. You can just buy any regular apple tart, it'll do. And uh, at night time then, I like to have my best, me my best meal, like the meal with the most nutrients, nutrient-dense meal. Just the healthiest meal, really. So I'm just going to have this Easter egg. Uh, <laughs> joking! Trolling you guys. <laughs> well, let's get into the real stuff. I have to fucking track this now. That means less oats for later. Fuck. Alright, so starting off with protein. Uh, we've got turkey mince, beef mince, chicken, bacon, tuna. So turkey mince, this is, I get a lot more turkey mince than I do any of the other meats as it's cheaper and I like the taste. Protein, I have usually, whatever meat I have, I have a pack a day, so I buy seven packs of, so I buy seven packs of meat for, the, for that day. So turkey mince, it's really low in fat, no carb. For this pack, there'll only be just about, just over one, one gram of carb. So it's like 72 grams of protein in this pack. So that's really good. Uh, then, this is probably my favorite meat source, uh, lean, <coughs> Lean beef mince, but it has to be extra lean, so this is 5% less fat. So in this, there's like 12 to 14 grams of fat and about 88 grams of protein, which is a lot, and this is by far my favorite meat source. Then I have chicken, which is 425 grams. Chicken, oh, this, in this pack, there's like 131 grams of protein. So if you want to hit your protein target in a day, just have that, though I'll eat this in one serving with whatever carb source. Bacon medallions, these are really good. There's like one gram of fat or one bacon a slice. I'll usually have about four of these with bagels as my first meal of the day. First meal of the day. Uh, tuna, if I'm ever struggling to hit my protein, I'll have some tin tuna there, it's really cheap. That's why. Uh, protein, again. Price-wise of protein, people think buying a lot of meat is dear. It's not really, as three euro for a turkey mince, and that hits the majority of your protein a day. That's not really cheap, like that's not really dear. Like you'd go out to a restaurant and you'd buy a meal for eight to 10 euro, and that's, this is three euro. You know? There's no real argument there. I think I've covered pretty much all the protein. I'm going to carbs next, so carbs. I think, see here, I've got a load of veg. So I've got mushrooms, they taste really good. I fry them in a pan with whatever meat I'm cooking. There's like, I put like 40 grams in, which adds up to about just over 20 calories. So there's sweet tab on prep, one just fell up. Veg, I get so much veg. When you're cutting especially, veg is unreal. So I have asparagus here, I have broccoli, uh, green beans, more asparagus. Uh, I have salad, I usually have, this salad will last me, salad will last me probably five days a week. I usually dip into it and put, put, um, use it for my bagels and if I'm making like a stir fry or something. Uh, back to the veg. Veg, it's so, veg is so important because there's so many nutrients in here. You need to eat veg. And even if veg didn't have all the nutrients it has, I would still love eating it while I'm cutting because you can get so much out of veg and it tastes really good. Family actually got an air fryer and that's what I've been using to cook my veg and my potatoes in recently and it makes it taste a hell of a lot better. Their next level, get an air fryer. What are the carbs we got here? Bagels. So I fast for the majority of the day so when I come home then my first meal is usually two bagels. Whichever one, these are pretty good. They're only 130 calories per bagel. And I'll put usually put I usually put the bacon, bacon with those bagels, I'll put asparagus with them, salad, and 
yeah, that'll be my first meal, and that adds up to just over like f over 400 calories. And that meal is really filling, that keeps me ticking over until my next meal, which will be later in the evening. So, bagels, slim bagels, are definitely a good one to have on prep. Uh, these Uncle Men's rice, I just buy these because they actually taste really good, but I work a part time job at the weekend, and I do not have to cook rice. Uh, because you can cook rice, but when I cook rice and I leave it prepped, it tastes like shit the next day. Whereas I can just put these in the microwave when I get to work, and they're pretty good. The macros on the pack, uh, there's a bit more fat. So for this pack, there's like 4 fat and 64 carb. It's decent, still good. Rest of my carbs are fruit. I love fruit on prep. Um, Frozen fruit, as you saw, the frozen fruit that usually goes in my oats increases volume immensely. All fruit does. You can have a lot of fruit, it doesn't contain much carbs. But it depends on the type of fruit you get as well. So I've got tropical fruit salad here. There's pineapple, kiwi, grapes and strawberries. All of real decent macros. If you get a fruit salad, just beware if there's apple in it. Like apples are quite high in carbs. So I love fruit salads. I'll have half of this a day. It's like 200 grams. It'll add up to like about just over 20 grams of carbs, 21. So that's, and the fruit is really f filling and you hit your fiber content for the day. So I definitely recommend fruit. Uh, strawberries, possibly my favorite fruit. Between, I go between, I switch every week between these and blueberries and they win my oats. Uh, what else? Oats. We have these organic oats. And then we have just this plain, plain, uh, plain ass oats. The difference, why I have the two of these now? The difference is three euro for a kilo, 99 cent for a kilo. Macros on these ones are actually a lot better as well, but you have to weigh out, weigh out the pros and cons. The cons being, I find when I eat these oats, I'm a bit gassy. These oats, I'm not gassy. Better macros, cheaper, gassy. So, I don't live with my girlfriend. <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. Ladies hit me up. So like, being a bit gassy. <laughs> I know you're judging me. Being a bit gassy, I don't give a fuck. It's only my little brother who has to deal with it and he's holding the camera. <laughs> so, I have the two of these because I do, I won't eat these all week, but yeah, 99 cent, three euro. I usually would go for that, I usually would go for this instead. Cereal. What an easy way to hit your carbs. Uh, I'm cutting it at the moment, so cereal's pretty good. These happen to be the one I'm eating this week. I'll have Coke, Coke Pops, probably my favorite cereal. Cookie Crisp. The macros and Cheerios are unreal. For 100 gram, you have three grams of fat, 75 grams of carbs, but there's 24 grams of sugar. So, yeah, I don't really care about the sugar though. If you're trying to minimize the amount of sugar you eat, then choose your cereal wisely because there's a lot better, there's better options out there. But yeah, cereal, fucking love cereal, plain as. I eat it because I enjoy it and it tastes good. I usually have cereal on my refeed days, which is the weekends, because my carbs go up, so that's when I usually have cereal. I use this milk. This milk tastes unbelievable and it's only 24 calories per 100 ml, so. And I use this for coffee as well, so this milk is a no-brainer, tastes absolutely unreal. There is no dairy in it, if that's an issue for you, it's not for me. It's just low calories, tastes good, and yeah, the difference in this milk compared to any other milk, if you look at the calories, like you take the time to look, look at this milk and look at the macros and look at regular milk, you'll see a massive difference. Uh, so that's my carbs pretty much done, I think. So fats now, so for so for fats, my fats are disgustingly low. So fats, my main source, 100% every day. I love dark chocolate, it goes so well with oats and it's antioxidant oxidant, antioxidant as well, so it's, it's a good nutrient dense food. I break off about 20 to 25 grams of this and break it up into bits and go up melts into my oats and it's just the taste is like no other 
It's really good. Uh, I love chocolate, so. Next fat would be peanut butter. If I have fats left over that day, uh, I'll use, I'll finish off with peanut butter or put it in my oats. So, oh, having my oats at the end of the day is actually a good thing because it gives me a lot of options of what I can put there on top of it if I have macros left to hit. So that's, that, they're pretty much my two main fats. Now I have coconut, I have coconut oil, which coconut oil is savage and like it acts, it's also, it's fast act, acting energy as well, it's like MCT oil, but my fats are so low that I'm not going to waste my calories on this, so I go for a fry light spray, so it's just one calorie per spray and mix, it's actually pretty nice this flavour. And that's how I cook all my that's how I cook my meats as well. It's just the lower calories, you gotta do what you gotta do. As far as toppings go, I season like my meat with anything to do with the El Paso season. So this is chili, I have smoky barbecue, which is really good, and I put these on my meats. It adds up to like uh, five grams of carbs for a serving of this to season my meats, and it makes all the difference. It tastes so good, it makes your meat taste unreal. If I don't use seasoning, I'll use sauce. So chili con carne or chicken corn sauce. I'm having chicken today, so I'm actually gonna go with this. Usually my go-to meat is chili con carne. It's my favorite sauce by far, absolutely love it. Just make the serving small. You don't have to go with the ser serving size of uh, the actual jar, like what it says. So I usually put like 70 grams of chili con carne onto my meat and it's enough. My serving only adds up to about 40, 30 to 40 calories for a sauce on your meat, which can make the biggest difference in the world if someone died in. Like you don't have to have plain foods, definitely not. Um, that's twice that's fucking fell. Hot chocolate, it's only 40, 40 calories. If you just want to chill out in the evening and you just want to sip like on a hot chocolate and just enjoy it, then have one. These taste really fucking good. Didn't mean to curse there. Mom gave out to me last week. She watched my YouTube video and she said I cursed too much. So sorry, Mom. Now, zero calorie drinks. Had this one today. This Luke's is zero calorie. First time. Um, pretty good. But with zero calorie drinks, they're actually zero calorie. Wait. Yes, yes, yes. There's one calorie in this. Phew. This had like, this has 15 calories in it. So just be wary. It doesn't matter to the average person. If it says zero calorie, it's not gonna make much of a difference to you. But if you're dieting or on competition prep, um, it does make a difference. You do have to track everything. So I track absolutely everything that goes into my mouth. So this is, in fact, 15 calories. That's 15 calories minus of what I'm supposed to be having for the day. So I'm not just gonna drink it and leave it at that. Ignorance is bliss, but do you want, real, do you want better results? Like having, you could have three days a day and just think like, oh, it's only what, it's zero calories. Three a day, that adds up to 45. 45 over the course of a week, if you keep having those, they add up. Can't you can't watch, no. I'm nearly finished, Abby, please. Go on. I'm nearly finished. Thanks. I, love you. I do love you. But <sighs> Get out. I do have these if I'm ever, like, if I'm ever feeling them. I know there's zero calories and macros and all that, but I don't like to be having fizzy drinks too often, like for my teeth and plus the shit in them. Um, they can the shit in them. I'm just aware, like it's not like it's not too good for you either to be having these too often. So that's that. One thing I left out is this. I left out this back since uh, it's nearly gone as well. These fat-free yogurts. These are fucking. They taste really good. So for 100, for 100 grams of this, it's only 56 calories. And it's four grams of carb and eight grams of protein. So these I would highly recommend. These are actually in Lidl. And I actually do my shop in Super Value, which makes the shop a bit more expensive. So if you look at this asparagus, for example, these are, two of these are 90 grams, so 180 grams, two for three euro. Whereas these stalks of asparagus are, they're like 220 grams here. And that's like, that cost me 49 cents. So I got these in little, I don't go to little too often, which I should.
but it's just too much of a trek that I don't want to make. If you're, if you're on a tighter budget than I am, I definitely would recommend for, to go... F my throat. <coughs> I definitely would recommend going to Little for a few things. Um, because it does make it does pull back the cost of your shop, even though the shop isn't that dear, anyways. Rice is another carb source. I forgot to mention that rice or potatoes is my usual go-to carb source for my main nutrient-dense meal with my veg. So I love rice. It's so so easy to cook. If you can volumize it as well, the more water you put in as you're cooking it. That's pretty much everything. Where the fuck did I put the receipt? Where did I put the receipt? Oh, thank you, thank you brethren. <coughs> so receipt. This all cost this all cost seventy six euro, but I actually you can minus about six euro because I bought my mum a pack of mother rice yogurt rice pots, so I came to about seven euro. And not all of this I didn't buy all of this in that shop, and a lot of this will last me longer than a week. But this is usually what I buy, and the shop usually goes to about 60, 70 euro. Which, when you think about it, that's actually pretty cheap for a weekly shop. Some of you will watch this video and you spend 60 or 70 euro on a night out in the space of five to six hours. So don't go saying that this is expensive and you can't afford it when you spend that much on alcohol on a night out. Also, certain things you'll buy that you'll want to buy for almost a year. Only after remembering why I put this in the video. It says sugar, but Himalayan pink salt. I bought this last March and there's this much left. March spilling a bit. So I just like throw, I love salt. I put, put it on all my meals that require it. And salt isn't an issue. If you have a lot of water throughout your day, which I do, about three liters, salt will never be an issue. And plus, there's uh, the reason for pink salt is there's more vitamins, mi vitamins and minerals in them. So you get more out of it better than any uh, table salt which has way more sodium. Salt can actually be considered a supplement because it's an elect, elect, le, le, le. it's an electrolyte, electrolyte, which means you get a sick fucking pump in the gym. No, it actually helps muscles contract uh, in better in the gym and you get better pumps. So have salt. And why is this, why am I videoing this now? Because I only thought to put that in the video, I have the camera and I'm about to shower, hence why I'm naked. So I think I've pretty much covered, covered everything. That's what I eat, that's what I eat in a cut. If I was bulking now it would be a lot different, but my calories are 2,000, uh, 2,290 so. Eating foods that are less calorically dense, but more nutrient dense, makes sense and plus, I enjoy eating all of these foods. Another fat source I fucking forgot to include is cheese. I love cheese. It sprinkles on my fucking meat meals with the rice it makes like. Hmm? What's that? Cursing. Oh, cursing? Sorry, I didn't curse that much in this video. So no, have I left out anything else? No. That's pretty much my shop. So 60 to 70 euro a week, all good foods, like, this isn't hard. If you fail, when it comes to a diet, preparation is key. If you don't get your shopping done for the week, you're pretty much setting yourself up for failure because you're just gonna go, you're just gonna go out and you're gonna grab whatever. The camera started to overheat there, but I just wanna get this, I wanna get this video finished anyways. So what I was basically saying, like that's my food, but if you wanna, if you wanna be successful with a diet, prepare. So that if that means going to the shop and getting your shop done that week. You have all your foods there available to you. Don't use the excuse that if you don't have any meat that you can't. Bye. 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 Oh. Again. Seriously? Oh. So don't use the excuse if you don't, if you have chicken there that you're just gonna go out instead and you're just gonna grab whatever else you can see because you're hungry. That's a lousy excuse and you're only fooling yourself, you're not gonna get results that way. So with, as regards to this video, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Have I? Yeah? All right, sweet. I hope this video was helpful. I hope I didn't butcher it too, too much, that I actually got my point across well. 
and that you can take something from this. If you do struggle with purchasing meat, you could buy protein. So the protein I'm using at the moment is bulk powders. Watch me. I'll use that if I'm if I've bit of protein left hitting my day. I'll I'll throw it in my oats usually. Oats. Just everything goes in oats. Get oats. Just get oats. And that's your diet covered because everything can go in them. I could I could do my full day of my full 2,290 calories in one bowl of oats for the day. I do hope this was helpful. I really do. And I'm not wasting your time. Thanks for watching. If you did find this helpful, it would mean a lot to me. I'd appreciate if you did like and share the video. And if you have any questions or want me to cover anything, just comment it down below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. <gasps> I love doing this. Fucking effort of putting this all back now. Oh. While I've shown you everything that I eat, I may as well take you through what supplements I take. Supplements aren't a big deal. It's funny. When you're younger and you start, well not when you're younger, but when you start lifting, emphasis on supplements is so much larger than what it is now. Sure, when I was 15, 16, I was like, I bought the big buckets of like, mass gainer, fuck, 6,000. <laughs> and they used to smell like shit and fucking my parents would kill me for it. And now it's just the case of having a protein powder in case I don't hit my protein uh, with meat. And fish oils, krill oil, vitamin D. Uh, Apple cider vinegar, that's literally it. Sure, you know. That's pure way isolate. Chocolate cookies flavor. It's, it's really nice. Goes well with. It's partner in crime. Oh, it's... I have so many bottles of apple cider vinegar. There's definitely more in there. Vitamin D3, essential, as we live in Ireland. The weather is usually f shit, but today... So it's actually decent. It's actually a nice day. Take your vitamin D. I actually ran out of krill oil this morning. Got sick of dextrin in there. It's just a carb powder. When I'm bulking, I usually take that during my sessions because my intensity of my sessions increases as well. Other supplements I take are HMB, L-glutamine, and creatine. I always take creatine. Uh, I always take glutamine. HMB is just so I decrease my chance of losing muscle as I train fasted now and my calories I'm in a good bit of a deficit so that's where HMB comes into play as well and as far as supplements go that's it oh one more green tea my what you should take from this video is to get your food in food is number one supplements come after like today, I mean the protein powder, I've hit my protein with the meat I'm having today and I don't need to use a uh, protein powder, which is ideal. That's what you'd want realistically. It's much more satisfying to eat it rather, rather than uh, drink it or just throw a powder into it. It's as nice as it is. Uh, eating it's better. So... That's the video. I did a shit job showing the supplements, but you get the gist. I don't take that much. Mm. Yeah, that's it.